This animation details a range of MGF piling equipment suitable for excavators assisting during the installation and removal of steel trench sheets and sheet piles. In addition, it details the different methods commonly adopted in the UK. MGF supply a range of trench sheets and sheet piles, from light duty lapped sheets to heavy duty interlocked piles, as well as a range of ancillaries to assist with installation and removal, such as driving caps, quick release shackles, sheet extractors and chains. There are three main sheet installation methods, push and dig, pre-drive and slit trench. The push and dig method is the most commonly adopted method when using an excavator. This methodology requires a minimum of two frames in the excavation. Typically sheets are pushed ahead of the excavation using the excavator bucket and an MGF driving cap. Hydraulic support frames are progressively lowered into position as the excavation progresses to restrain the sheets. Generally a minimum tow-in ahead of formation level is specified. Excavation stability is normally dependent upon the depth of the sheet penetration beneath formation level and the correct locations of the frames within the dig. This method of installation is much preferred by contractors for being cheap and requiring the minimum plant and accessories. The achievable sheet penetration is dependent on the ground type and the strength of the sheet being installed. Driving may be more difficult in problematic ground such as very hard or very soft soils. This technique is not advised for large plan excavations. A high degree of site control is needed for this method due to the combination of correct sheet tow and pumping out the frames at the correct level. Pre-dig to a maximum of one meter subject to ground being self-supporting and stable. Secure the MGF pitching shackle to the excavator handling point. Move the top sheet to gain access to the handling point. Activate the shackle pin mechanism and position the shackle jaw over the handling point. Fully close the shackle pin so the pin is fully engaged. MGF pitching shackles feature a simple safety mechanism that prevent the accidental release of the pin should the blue trailing rope become snagged. Loop the anti-snag rope ring over the hook and lay the rope flat within the pan of the sheet. All frames should be lowered into the trench prior to pitching the sheets. The sheet can now be lifted over to the excavation and positioned where it is to be driven. Operatives are to be aware of their position relative to the excavator. Always maintain eye contact with the driver. Care must be taken in high winds when the sheets are more difficult to handle. Ideally, the excavator boom should slightly tow in the sheet for added stability, otherwise operatives may need to support the sheet. Check that the sheet is vertical with a spirit level. The pitching shackle is removed by flicking the rope anti-snag ring off the hook and pulling it to open the pin mechanism. Prior to driving the sheet, an MGF drive cap needs to be installed on top of the sheet. A safe means of access must be provided for this operation. Take care when installing the drive cap. Once installed, check to ensure the drive cap is stable and cannot be easily dislodged during driving operations. Operatives must ensure that they do not stand directly beneath the bucket of the excavator during driving operations. When driving the sheet, ensure the sheet is vertical, square and in the correct alignment before gently pushing vertically downwards. Sheets should be driven as far as is practicable without causing the sheet to bend or buckle. It is recommended to first install the corner sheets. Pump out the top frame. Attach restraining chains between the upper frame and the corner sheets. 
Once installing the remaining sheets, a digging window should be created on at least one sheet wall. This will allow access for the excavator boom during digging operations, as well as the ladder access entry point. This will involve initially installing shorter sheets, which can be replaced with longer sheets as the work progresses. Prior to the next digging phase, attach restraining chains between the two frames. Set chains to the correct length. Once all the sheets are driven to the level indicated in the design, the drive cap should be removed and the excavator can now dig within the sheets to the required level prior to driving the sheets further. Never excavate lower than the toe of the sheet. Where practical, always provide a toe in, pushing sheets to refusal a minimum of 500 millimeters. Safety equipment can now be installed prior to entry.